Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Ecto-1 from the reissue The Real Ghostbusters line from Kenner slash Hasbro. Uh, this was a Walmart exclusive. I got this online. I pre-ordered it a long time ago back when they first announced it. And for once Walmart actually fulfilled my pre-order. So I was pretty psyched about that. I have not seen these in stores. I've seen some of the figures in stores but not the Ecto-1 yet. So I don't know if it's available in stores but you could try. Uh, but taking a look at the packaging here they recreated the original packaging pretty well few key notable differences it does say hasbro instead of just kenner so you get kenner and hasbro here and obviously you have the multilingual little like word bubbles here uh, denoting some of the features and things like that top of the box pretty much exactly the same bottom of the box as well except for you have the warnings and stuff over on this side and then over here you get kind of a picture of the ecto-1 itself with the ghost that it includes and then that is the same picture over on this side if we spin it around to the back we get a nice little breakdown here. You see the Ecto-1 has the seat on top, opens in the back, has the claw gimmick uh, feature, which of course we'll take a look at. And then there also is this little thing over here where I guess they you know, had to give GM some love because <laughs> it's one of their vehicles. So there's a little licensing shout out there for GM. Something I'm sure the original did not have, but really love this recreation packaging. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Definitely going to be keeping the box with this one. So going to go ahead, get everything out of the box. I believe there's some assembly required and definitely some stickers that need to be applied. So I'll get that all done and then we'll take a closer look. So here's the Ecto-1 fully assembled and stickered up. There's really not too much to do. We'll get into it in a minute. Uh, first off, I wanted to take a quick look at the little ghost that it comes with. It's made of a cool translucent plastic and I was kind of expecting this to be hollow inside. Uh, but it's not too bad. You can see that they kind of just, there's a little bevel down here, so there's just a little bit of plastic missing. If I remember correctly, uh, the original one was completely solid and just kind of, you know, smooth across on the bottom. So not too much plastic there missing. Uh, but the, if I remember correctly, the Red Ghost that came with the reissue Winston was completely hollow inside. And I know the original was not like that. So that's what I was kind of expecting this one to be a little hollow. But... The expression is just crazy. I know it gets a little lost because it's kind of all translucent plastic, but it's a, it's a crazy little goofy looking ghost, but I like it quite a bit. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the Ecto-1. Like I was saying, there isn't really too much in terms of stickering and assembly, uh, just the Ghostbusters symbols. So one on each door. There is an Ecto-1 license plate there on the front. There is an Ecto-1 license plate here on the back, this Ghostbuster symbol, and then this giant blue window is one large sticker, just like the original toy. Now, this doesn't really latch all that tightly, which I'm kind of surprised about. Uh, the original, I remember, really fit into place quite nicely. This one's a little loose, so if you move it around a little bit, it can kind of, you know, become dislodged just because it doesn't really catch all that much. But these fins come pre-attached. Uh, you do have to just pop the little uh, seat here on the top. And that can kind of swivel around. It has a little belt loop. These little guns can move. They swivel around. And then both of the doors can open. So you just kind of pop it open so you can put a figure inside. And then close it up. Now I don't have any of the reissue real Ghostbusters handy. But I do have uh, Winston from the new Ghostbusters line. So we're going to use him. It does work with those figures as well. So if you go ahead and uh, pop this open. And it's a little bit of a tight fit, but you can get it to work. So just kind of slide him in here and make sure there's clearance with the head. But these can fit right inside. Just like the original uh, real Ghostbuster figures or the reissues would fit inside there as well. And he can actually fit on the seat up here as well. I'm going to actually take this off so I can show you how this works. Plus there's a few features we can do with it not attached to the top. So you can see it's just kind of like a plastic piece here that kind of, you know, goes in as you push it down and then kind of keeps it in place. It doesn't like 100% snap so you can take it on and off which is important. But it's got this little belt loop that you just open up. And then if we go ahead and toss Winston on here and kind of lean him back so that it actually goes around the smallest part of his waist. You can go ahead and clip this on. It's a little tight, bit of a tight fit, but I did get it to work. There we go. So there you go. He is all looped in and now he is on the seat. And again, it's got the little, I assume, proton guns there on the top. But the cool thing about this is there are a couple features we can do with this uh, on the inside here. 
and I'll do my best to get this uh, inside. So we do have this uh, capture claw that we'll get to in a moment, but if you look inside here, you can see that there is a small hole there, and then there's just kind of this track. So the directions tell you that you can sit this on the track, and it can kind of move back and forth, but it doesn't really like stay in place. So if you kind of just wanted to hang out the back here, it'll work. Otherwise, I mean, I guess you could kind of sit them like this, but you can also put it in the hole all the way back here. Let me just move the guns down a little bit so I can get this to work and fit. But there you go. So you can kind of sit them back there if you want. So if for some reason you wanted to put the seat in the back, you can. There's a spot for it to kind of peg in there. So that's kind of cool. And then, of course, we have the capture claw, which if you pull this out... And one thing I wanted to show off real quick, there is a little hook in there. So you can see that. And you can actually hang the claw on the hook if you want to store it somewhere. But I always, as a kid, I always just kind of put it in one of these two recesses on the side because it kind of fits fairly well in there as well. You can just kind of see it sits in there. But basically how this works is you pull it all the way out and then it's supposed to grab a hold of the ghost. So we will go ahead and have it grab the ghost here. Try to get a pretty decent grip on it. And then underneath here, you come down to the tailpipe and this actually, you can kind of pull it down and move it into this second groove over here. And when it is over there, the wheels will actually retract the rope as they as they move. So you have the back wheels here that as you would drive it, and then it kind of brings it inside, and then you would close it up. So that's kind of neat. Now, if you want it to roll again normal, you have to move this back over here. And I'm not exactly sure how it works because it's kind of underneath this panel here, but you can see the rope wound around here. And it works really well. Honestly, it's a pretty simple, neat little gimmick. I think it works. And then you can go ahead and capture ghosts that way. And that's exactly how the original worked. So they've recreated that pretty faithfully. Let's put the claw back in. And then I'm going to pop this back on top. So I think they did a really great job. I think it looks fantastic. Looks exactly like the original from what I remember as a kid. Uh, mine is very worse for wear. I'm definitely missing one of the red fins and I'm definitely missing the seat. Otherwise, my original is fairly intact. But uh, yeah, they did a pretty good job recreating this. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Rolls well when you don't have the you know wince thing enabled. So when you do have that, the back wheels will not roll as normally and they certainly won't go backwards, but... Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I think they did a pretty great job with this. So since I have it handy, I wanted to do a comparison with the Afterlife Ecto-1. And as you can see, they're quite different. I mean, it's definitely a completely different mold. You can see that this one is a little bit more of a flat top, whereas this one's kind of rounded. This has the opening seat here where you can go ahead and pop this so that you can have the seat flip around to the side. The other one does not. And it did, this uh, Afterlife one doesn't have two opening doors. It just has the one. Whereas you have the two opening doors over here. But the back just opens on both of them pretty similarly. If I can go ahead and get this one to open. This has the ghost trap section. Whereas this really just has a completely open section to store all kinds of stuff. So I really like both of them. Like I said, this one's very nostalgic. Because of course this is the one I had as a kid. But I really like the features of this one as well. Um, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could almost kind of do like a you know, fan cannon thing where maybe this is Ecto-1, maybe this is Ecto-3 or something like that because they're, they are quite different. This one is also a lot more bright white, whereas this one's kind of an off-white. You don't notice it as much until you put them right next to each other. But uh, yeah, I think they both really came out great and I'm happy to have both of them. So I really love this. I definitely recommend picking it up if you can find it. Like I said, I got mine from Walmart.com. It is a Walmart exclusive right now. All of the reissue real Ghostbusters stuff is Walmart exclusive. So I would definitely check uh, walmart.com or it's possible it might start showing up in stores. I have not seen it in a store yet, but it is possible that it could be coming. But I just think they, you know, they nailed it. I mean, it looks exactly like the one I remember as a kid. A couple stickers to apply, but really not that big a deal. It's a bummer. It doesn't come with any figures or anything like that, but I think it makes sense. The new one didn't come with any figures either, and the figures are sold separately. But uh, yeah, this just, I mean, for me, it's very nostalgic, and that's why I love it. I could understand uh, for newer people, maybe they want to get the newer one because it has more features. This really doesn't have a ton of features. I mean, it does have the capture claw, and it has the seat on top, 
But I would say the capture claw is kind of the, the notable feature other than just storing figures, where the new one kind of has firing missiles, it has the seat that can open on the side, it has the ghost trap, so the new one has a little bit more in terms of action features, but this one's just a classic. If you're a kid of the 80s, you know, this is definitely going to be very nostalgic, and I think it was really awesome that they decided to reissue it, and I'm glad I picked one up because, like I said, my original... I had seen a lot of love as a kid, and it's a little worse for wear, so I was very happy to get one that I can kind of keep in a much nicer condition and actually can continue to keep all the pieces because my original definitely lost some of the pieces. So this one's fantastic. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.